Welcome back to Sunless Sky. In the last episode, um, I think that's the one where we spoke with the Haved. It was either the last episode or the one before that. Anyway, what I want to do this episode is go to Langley Hall. It's been a long time. I remember I did, uh, I think, a really good amount of everything I needed to do there to kind of progress with the quest there. What is the quest there? Is it just to find, find Langley? I think. I think I'm trying to find Langley because no one's seen them in a long, long time. But I did most things, but I ran out of moments of inspiration. I needed that to progress in the quest there. So now I'm going to go back there with three moments of inspiration. Hopefully that'll be enough. I also have in my notes that I should bring crockery and caged catches to Langley Hall. Don't remember why, but I'll trust my older self. Four crockery and eight caged catches. Let's go. Haven't visited this place properly in a long time. I know we stopped here just very recently, but I think that was just to like get a port report and trade or something. I didn't actually really stay here or do anything of significance. His Lordship's Grand Clear Out. Oh, they're having that again. Thirsty Bombazine or a cask of Navartine gemstones. The gemstones are worth more. 200 for a cask, that's good. I think they sell for like 300 or 350. And they have Ministry Approved Literature. If I have room, I'll buy that on the way out. Alright, um, oh, 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 oh. Hold on, actually. I don't remember exactly what the skill check was that I kept failing that was eating up my moments of inspiration. But I remember I kept failing it. Which makes me think it's probably hearts, which means I should probably up my hearts if I can. Hopefully I don't regret this. Ten mirrors, two eyes, this feels... Yeah, the ratty reunion. Ten hearts instead of ten iron. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that should help quite a bit. <clears throat> Get a port report. Um, yeah, these are all the places I unlocked. The solarium, upstairs, laundry cupboard, etc., etc. Relieve your dreams in Langley Hall. Requires 16 supplies. I have eight. Damn. What does Explore Langley Hall do? I think it's just a little text description. Oh, no, no. This is the thing you can do to, like, find more rooms and stuff. But I think I've maybe found just about all the rooms. 28%, 28%, 33%. I think I kept using unlicensed charts to try to find more rooms. But if there aren't any more rooms, am I just wasting my time? I don't know. Let's... Let's do that and see if it does anything. <laughs> I don't think it did. Knock for admittance to the study. Like, I don't even remember where the place is where I need to do the thing. Attempt a rescue? What is this? You unlock this by having no perfect pangolin. I want a perfect pangolin. A bevy of academics congregate inside the study, where they discourse, dispute, and declaim. Here Lord Langley has a panoply of curiosities from old London. Skulls without eye sockets leer from the shelves. Incrustations of amber gleam in the lamplight. Bottles of fungal wine are stacked on shelves and desks. Attempt a rescue. 100% chance of success. Hell yeah. You might as well try. Two stately gentlemen appear to be between sips of scotch, tossing a curled up mammal back and forth. That's not a ball. Don't you toss that perfect pangolin. Liberation. The pair are only too glad to accommodate your question about their toy, which is revealed to be a spectacularly well-shaped, well-mannered pangolin. 
Despite their assurances that the animal consents to the peculiar treatment, the pangolin looks distressed. It takes several hours, two games of catch, an inadvisable amount of alcohol, and the discovery of a rattan ball in an unexplored cupboard to free the pangolin from its elegant captors. Oh, buddy, I'm going to take good care of you. They're probably a mascot. Um, I can't look at my mascots right now until I kind of go to leave this place, I think. Why can't I do this? Unlocked when you're lingering for a time at Langley Hall. Wait, am I not lingering for a time right now? How do I do that? Like, leave... Oh, hang up your coat and hat. You plan to be here for a while. That's right, all right. That's the thing we need to do to say, hey, we're staying here. Now I can do a lot of extra stuff. Let's go back to explore Langley Hall then. <clears throat> How do I go back to the study? Is it somewhere down here? Get Kitchen, little lounge, study. Ooh, what is this? Disputate. You can argue with the best of them. This may exchange visions of the heavens for moments of inspiration. That would be very good. However, my chance of succeeding is 28%. Remember, I can get a guaranteed moment of inspiration with five visions of the heavens. So, percentage-wise, this is not worth it. That's not worth it, but I am curious what happens if you fail. You weren't intending to be humorous, but you seem to have the elderly crypto -theolo theologian in stitches. The refulgent contrarian has retired to the sofa and encourages you to stop and do the same. Brandy is ordered all round, and then another round. Your pockets are rapidly lightened. Apparently the brandy is on you. Peruse the shelves and desks. 300 sovereigns. Just to peruse them? There's many an esoteric knick-knack languishing on them. Anything is available to take with you, provided you pay a fee for the upkeep of the hull. I mean, 300 sovereigns for a condemned experiment sounds totally worth it. I don't really know what to do with those experiments. They come up very rarely. But I think that's worth it. Yes. The thick fog of pipe smoke means you're entirely concealed as you rummage through the bookcases and desks. There are a surprising number of concealed alcoves and false bottoms. Lord Langley evidently had a healthy distrust for his fellow academics. Reaching behind a panel, your hand alights on... What's this? Consider the evidence. Wait. So the one thing I'm missing is this. I do not have... The cook has given you a pair of dancing shoes given to her by Lord Langley. I remember we found a picture of two, like Lord Langley and um, a man that they were they were dancing with. They seemed like lovers. So the pair of dancing shoes, dancing seems to be an important thing to Lord Langley. So I guess I need to go to the cook. Well, let's go back to the kitchen then. Have myself dealt into a card game. 250 sovereigns. 40% chance of success. Sure. Bah. There are 214 cards compiled from a variety of decks so that though there are six aces of bats, each bears a different hue and a different function within the game. You may pair sixes, queens, and fours, but never sevens. An ace held for more than seven rounds can be exchanged for another card, but you may not choose which. Most of the other players are as baffled as you, but one rogue has been making notes on the rules. A considered effort of mathematics propels her into victory, and to the victor, the spoils. Let's try to help 
with the cooking. I think I failed this every time I tried it. Man, even with the plus 10 hearts, I only have a 28% chance of success. And takes two supplies. Oh, I gain a lot of terror from that. So I think we've done this before, but it's been so long. I'm going to read like everything again, pretty much. The cook in the ocelot pattern apron observes you for five minutes before walking away to take an extended cigar break. The smoke is easily dealt with and you only lose half of the pans to the flames. Eventually, the sous chef rescues you. Most of your attempt is ejected from a window. What could be rescued is packed into a box and unceremoniously handed to you. Uncanny specimen. <laughs> yeah, gain 10 terror. Did I ever succeed at this? Did I do it till I succeeded? Oh, damn, nice. The cook with the ocelot pen and apron raises an eyebrow at your methodology, but does nothing to inhibit inhibit you beyond insisting that every dish contain a nip or three of cider. This comes from a flask in her apron. She gives you a wink every time she produces it. You create a bounty of sweetmeats and pasties, roasted cantankery and chorister parcels, delicious squirmings, fried whirlberry style. The book, uh, the book, <laughs> the cook tastes everything. She says nothing, but she does produce a hamper. She orders you to take a portion of everything before the other guests get their mitts on it. Oh, so the only thing you get from that is just two uncanny specimens instead of one. Search for Lord Langley. Ah, oh, this is what I need the caged catches for. 24% chance of success. It's a good thing I brought so many. I have nine. You were told he was on good terms with the cook. Perhaps she knows where he is now. A donation to the kitchen would probably help you out. The cook listens to your entreaty with a stony expression on her face. As you finish, she makes no sign she paid any attention to a word of it. She lets you sweat for several minutes before opening an iron door concealed in the range. Here, she grunts, producing a battered pair of black dancing shoes. Told me to always keep these handy, in case he ever shows up. I think he's been gone long enough now. You take them to him, she makes a face. He made me almost empty our pantries for his trip. Must have carried off at least three baskets. Last I saw of him was in bent double hauling my finest, she smiles to herself. So even though I failed, it still worked? I guess I just gained terror. Not as good of a result, but it still did the thing. <clears throat> okay, so I guess I can go to the study now. But I want to check out all these other places first, and also I don't remember what the freaking moment of inspiration was for. Because it looks like I have everything I need to try to pursue the clues, but there, there's definitely something I needed inspiration for. Little Lounge. I guess I won't read the descriptions for all these little places. Let's just see what I can do. Share my story. Hmm, do I want to donate one Sky story when I have only a hundred and eight? Hmm. What does this do? Barrel of Unseasoned Hours. Can I just keep doing that? Oh, I can. A Barrel of Unseasoned Hours for a Sky story. I wonder what happens if I fail, though. It's an 80-something percent chance, so it is going to happen. I'm just going to keep doing it till it happens. Okay, that's a problem. I don't have space for anything more. <laughs> fail! Yes. You... Oh, you just gain a tale of terrors. You can exchange this guy story for terror. It's not bad at all. Misery remembered. Your recounting of your adventures in the broken kingdoms of the stars are cut short by a young gentleman who interrupts with a flood of tears. Over the next hour, you are regaled with a story of heartbreak and lamentation. His love affairs are endless and conducted only in one key. Eventually, he's overwhelmed by anguish and also whine. There's a collective sigh of relief.
Oh, this is the place where I have to attempt to leave. And what happens if I fail? Gain a tiny amount of terror. Oh man, things are getting laggy. I think I better leave and come back. Where, where is it? How do I leave? Recover your coat and hat, yes. Oh, that also allows me to check out the pangolin. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, buddy. Uh, plus one veils. Behold her little nose. How impeccably her scales overlap. How sinuous her tongue. She knows how perfect she is. She'd never say anything, but she knows. Aw, it's so cute. Well, I don't exactly need one veils, but... You know how you get random encounters having the indivisibly big dog? Chosen as your mascot? Maybe we'll get the same thing with the pangolin. Your pangolin has unfettered access to all parts of the locomotive, thanks to the crew uniting in their adoration of it. Because she is perfect, she does not take their love for granted. Instead, when hungry, she approaches a crew member while snuffling gently, her front paws in a posture of entreaty. Oh, feed the pangolin. Look at those little hands. She must be hungry. Penguins eat hundreds of grams of ants each day, but you had to provide for her. Your quartermaster was furious when you ordered a crate of earth and ants aboard, and apoplectic when it turned out that the ants were unwilling to stick to their allocated section of the hold. <laughs> Still, isn't it all worth it? When you see her snuffling nose, that delicate little tongue curling around corners licking the insects up? Yes, yes it is. I love this. Okay, back in. Now that we've had some refreshing outside air. So that we're not laggy anymore. You can think of lag as just getting tired, you know? Just need to take a brisk walk. Or a nap or something. Kitchen done. Little lounge done. Yellow drawing room. Give a speech. Exchange your ministry stamped permit for ministry approved literature. No. Exchange your moment of inspiration for a gourd of chorister nectar. What the hell? It's a terrible trade. That's god awful. Introduce them to a new game. You may win sovereigns. 100 sovereigns. One vision of the heavens. 76% chance of success. Not that I need sovereigns, but how much would I get? 200 sovereigns. Okay, but is it worth spending the visions of the heavens when I can use those for moments of inspiration? No. Upstairs, laundry cupboard. Ah, this is where I needed the moment of inspiration. And it wasn't even hearts, it's mirrors. My mirrors must have been much lower last time I came here. Search the cupboard. Who's in here? The cupboard is vast. You'll need more than luck to get anywhere. Yes. Pushing through innumerable pillowcases, you come across a woman sitting quietly, legs crossed. She's absorbed in a book. A cup of tea rests untouched by her feet. Oh, sorry, she says, marking her place and closing the book. I was just taking a break. I usually keep an eye on things for Lord Langley. Make sure no one's making anyone else feel unwelcome. But it all gets a bit much sometimes. No one bothers me here. I'll be out again shortly. She returns to reading, but not before sharing some tea. Thanks. That's interesting, but... I just traded a moment of inspiration for tea? That's also terrible. Wow, I can just keep keep searching in the cupboard. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is the cupboard is vast, so I wonder if you get like a random person. Maybe there's different encounters. I'm not going to try it again, though. Not for a moment of inspiration. Study, solarium, bathroom. Oh, right, we were just at the study. Oh, I can consider the evidence here. Not just yet. Solarium? Make polite conversation. I need more establishment for that. This will trade tea for a ministry stamped permit. That's a very good trade. I might be able to get five establishment. Possibly. I might have that. If I get the right officers. But it's not like I need ministry stamped permits. I got like ten or something. That just leaves the bathroom. And I don't think there's really anything I can do in there. Oh no, this is why I brought the crates of nostalgia crockery. So I can debauch in the bathroom. <laughs> why not? You'll need to bring your own cups though. They've all been smashed in here. Well... You probably had fun. You come to with your head in the sink, stinking of wine. It's as though you've experienced a boozy baptism. <laughs> Behind you, the chorus line is still going, compounding your headache with a ditty on Polmere and the infamous Plenty. One of your stokers has joined them. He does not acknowledge your gaze. Oh, that produced my terror. You certainly had fun. Did you play cards? You have an ace of bats sticking out of an unexpected item of clothing, and your socks jangle with coins. A breeze forces the recognition that you aren't wearing much. As you collect articles of your clothing from several poets, you're greeted with warm and only slightly knowing smiles. <laughs> what happened? I think that reduced my terror by a significant amount. I'm gonna just use up the rest of my crockery. 40, 31, it did it by 9%. Yeah, 9% each time. That's really good. I mean, crockery's pretty cheap. Okay. Um, go to the study. Lord Langley may have left a clue. If not, it'll at least be a space to think and go over all you've learned. Consider the evidence. You've ferreted out all that Langley left behind. Here in Langley's study, you have the tools to see what it all suggests. Laying it all out. You lay out what you found on a desk in a quiet corner near a starlit window. The picture of the two men from the cupboard. The soul for safekeeping. The map to the study. The shoes with the cook. What could it mean? I can either consider the worst, get very drunk, or take your time. Uh, let's just take my time. Leave no stone unturned. This will increase the date from the 28th of November to the 8th of December. You agonize for hours. Candles burn low, are replaced, burn low again. The academics, recognizing a fellow sufferer, provide an endless supply of cocoa. Finally, when there is no more candles, when there are no more candles to light, you think you have it. Lord Langley isn't looking for anyone. He wants to be found. Why else leave a trail of clues throughout his house? But why dancing shoes? He must have had a meeting place in mind. Uh, perhaps somewhere deep in Langley Hall, there is a ballroom. Okay, can I look specifically for the ballroom? Enter the ballroom? We already found it? I guess because I've already done so much exploring past when I found new rooms. Maybe it was just waiting for me to progress to this point in the quest to reveal it? <clears throat> oh yeah, you unlocked this with staircase spelunking 180. You needed 100. <laughs> It's time to fight Lord, find Lord Langley. Dust rises as your feet tread the glass floor of Lord Langley's ballroom. 
White tinted gaslights cast an eerie pallor over the polished glass and shrouded furniture of this vast sepulchral ballroom. Your reflection rises like a revenant to greet you from a hundred gleaming surfaces. A man in faded topcoat and tails sits at a piano at the far side of the room, listlessly sounding a mournful dirge. Ask Lord Langley why he's here. He sits at the piano. There are remnants of a picnic scattered at his feet. He does not look well. He looks up at you with eyes red like flawed rubies. His handsome features are vulpine from hunger. As he speaks, he continues to play one-handed. We were to meet here in Eleutheria, where the star allows freedom, but he didn't arrive. I searched for him, exhausted my old network, ascertained that almost all he had been was lost. Something remained, enough to hope. He pauses, plays a long diminuendo. I thought perhaps he would come for me if I showed him the way. If I just wanted him enough. His eyes are spent of tears. Why are you here? If not to return to me the man I love. Shit. This is far sadder than I hoped for. Hmm. Um, how am I going to answer the question? I'm here to find him, to return to him his love, to bring him home. I mean, I will I'll go looking for them. Absolutely. I'm here to return to him his love. You believe it is still worth looking? Lord Langley's eyes narrow. Be careful what you promise. Do not give your word lightly. This is not an easy task. His soul was fractured, his mind lost. I would not know him in a hundred, and for a time he was my breath, my blood, my soul. I don't give my word lightly. I'm gonna make this... I'm gonna make this gay relationship happen again. Except, you will find Lord Langley's lost love. Lord Langley's expression is carefully blank. A romantic, then. So be it. I'll tell you what I know to still be true, and you can work from there. He was uncommonly driven and uncommonly stubborn. He was arrogant and charismatic. He was naturally uncommonly handsome, too. He smiles at some secret memory. Even if all else about him had changed, I believe those traits would not. If you find him, and if you bring him back, I will reward you with all I plundered from heaven's vaults. His expression is one of desperate yearning. So I don't really have any leads, do I? I mean, I have a description about their personality. They've changed, they've been fractured. Hmm, that makes me think of Paranesi. Because that fractures and changes people. Maybe it's worth looking there. Um, but yeah, it's certainly not giving me a... Like a real specific lead, like, hey, they were last spotted here, go here. It's more open-ended than that. Leave the ballroom. I think we're done here for now, then. Get... Uh, actually, do I want as much of that as I can hold? I'm actually kind of low on fuel and stuff. I mean, not so low that it's going to be a problem. Right, like, it's a pretty short trip back to Pan. Yeah, I'm really thinking Paranesi. Well, let me head back to Pan, dump off some stuff, and then go from there.